everyone welcome back to my youtube channel my name is shiro juguna and i am back with another video but first thank you so much for the 282 subscribers i think we're still where we were last the last time i made a video which is not last week and i am so sorry i couldn't show up last week and get myself to make a video but this week I decided to just show up and make a video. Thank you for sticking around and thank you for always coming back to watch my video if you are an OG from day one, Santi Sana. And um, if you haven't subscribed and you're watching this video, please make sure you subscribe. If not for anything, for my beautiful smile, I know you like it. I know. If that doesn't convince you, <laughs> my new hairstyle. I don't even want to show it. My new hairstyle. Anyways, um, so today, um, I want to talk about heartbreaks. And this video is inspired by my friend Dennis. I know you're going to watch this. Um, he's the one who inspired this video because we were talking about it with him actually we haven't like, finished by the time i'm shooting this video we haven't finished the back and forth texting about heartbreaks and yeah there's something that came up as we were talking about heartbreaks um this week as i was going to work and i felt the need to talk about it and i felt like it's something that need to be talked about um having gone through heartbreaks myself and being in a space where you feel like you need to get over it. And you know, um, it, my friend shared and he was telling me one of the hardest things. Um, he's, I think, in his third or fourth month um, of going through heartbreak. And he was telling me that actually one of the hardest thing is like everyone, you know, like when it first happens and it also happened to me, like when the heartbreak first happened, everyone is around you. They are trying to comfort, console, sending text messages, hugs, emojis, gifts or whatever you call them. But then one month is gone and then peace. Everyone forgets that you're actually grieving. And those that see you do it, um, think, probably think you should be way over it. And, you know, I think it's not something that should be wished off as easily as people want it, want it to be. And it doesn't happen as fast as people want it to be. And I think like when we look at heartbreaks, we should look at them in the perspective of a broken arm, a broken bone. I've never seen someone who has broken their leg being told, you you know what, man up. I mean, you've been here for two months. A boo stand and start walking. It's time. No, you don't do that. You give it time until the doctor can say that actually this person is okay. Now they can walk. And I think we should have the same approach when it comes to hearts being broken because, man, it's the gross is real and it's legit especially so if you are i don't know whether to say the victim if you didn't see it coming you know like there's that there's that um saying that says that the blow that i think the blow that knocks you out is not the hardest but that one that you didn't see coming and it's the truth if you're the person who was dumped it's it's sad because the dumper let me just say the dumper. He had prepared himself. He knew he was gonna do it, but the dumpy. Oh, there is no one doing like that. I am sure, but you understand what I'm saying. The dumpy. You had no idea. You were just there waiting for your happy ever after, and then boom, a breakup happens. So, you take some time first to come into terms with the fact that that is gone. You start mourning the person. You have dreams that you had together you start mourning those you start mourning um maybe some things that you gave up you mourn that as well you mourn your time and there's so much now more than the person walking out and more than your heart being broken there's so much that you're grieving and it shouldn't be like you're being hurried through the process and you shouldn't feel the need to heal faster than you actually are and it's pressure i mean 
it, it's pressure and I know it and I know if you've gone through heartbreak and if you haven't, oh bless you, eh? you did God's last born. I don't know how, why or whatever, but if you haven't, praise the Lord. I mean, just praise the Lord because <laughs> anyways, I'm just saying there's that pressure to feel like you should be over it and I would just I'm not the best person to say it because sometimes I also like tell myself, you know what? Ah, get over it. Get over it. but man, it's it's not a hurry, it's not a rush. You're not being crushed through and even if everybody everybody walks out and you just left you and your time and your broken heart just stay right there and chill you get over it i know i have done so much of mumbling and so much talking but i hope this helps someone that you don't need to rush through it you don't need to feel bad that you're not over it and everybody else thinks you should be over it and thank you so much for watching thank you so much dennis for inspiring this video and until next time you know what you do like this video share it with someone that needs it make sure you comment down down below if you want to know what lipstick i'm wearing also don't feel shy ask down below and until next time you guys have a good one bye bye